<laughs> What's up guys, Sniper Does Have It here, and this is the Low C Mini 8's first upgrade, uh, technically second upgrade, first one seen on YouTube. Sorry, I'm a little sick, so I might sound a little funny. But uh, this is the High Tech HS 5245 MG Digital Mini Servo. Uh, I picked this up from A Main Hobbies. Uh, it was on back order. It was supposed to be in that unboxing the other day, but it was on back order. So here it is now. Uh, I didn't feel like doing an unboxing because I didn't feel it necessary for one thing. So uh, I already cut the tape. Let's open this up. You got your servo horns and some screws and such. The servo horn I will be using. And the servo itself. Uh, general servo information. And some stickers, which we'll leave those in there for now. Which that's nice because I don't think that Savax servo that I paid like 60 bucks for that did not include stickers which is kinda dumb and I picked this little guy up for 40 bucks I don't know if I mentioned that so I'm just gonna and here it is um, probably gonna put a stainless steel screw right there just cause it will be hex uh, this cord is really long. It's kind of cool looking though. Compared to the regular orange one. Uh, I'm going to have to cut a zip tie here. So let's get the installation started by removing the old one. Which I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. From my receiver. Come on. Alright, there that is. Um... And then I'm going to take my Lexon body scissors, if I can find them. There they are. I'm going to cut the zip tie very carefully. Actually, I'm going to do this off camera just to be more careful. But then we're going to remove these two screws, which hold in the servo with the mount. So I'll be right back. Alright, now that we got those two screws removed from the bottom, got the zip tie cord, or the zip tie cut, got the cord free. I'm gonna take a 1.5, which I forgot to mention is also the screw you use on the bottom, and you're just gonna detach the servo saver from this little turnbuckle looking thing. Alright, we got the servo removed from the Mini 8. Um, next thing we are going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, remove these four screws, which will remove the mounting bracket. And surprisingly enough, this is one of very few times you will be using a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and reattach the mount to the new high tech steering servo. I switched my uh, steering horns. I think I gotta cut that top piece off. Let's see if that fits or not. But um, make sure before you put your uh, servo saver or ser steering horn on there or whatever, um, <clears throat> make sure you plug it in and turn it on so that way the servo is centered. So that way it's all going, it's going each way a certain amount. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and reattach the, the, the mount and we'll be right back. Alright, so I got the, the horn uh, sawed down to the bottom hole. So that way it'll fit under the upper plate or whatever. Um, I put a blue sharpie over the silver after I filed it down to get rid of the rough edges and blue sharpie just to so the silver didn't stick out too much through the top. Now we're just going to go ahead and place it back in here. Line it up in the holes. Maybe not. Alright, now I'm just going to line up in the holes. I'm going to reattach the top turnbuckle and as well as the two screws, 1.5 millimeter screws on the bottom of the chest. Alright, so we've just finished that installation. Um, i got to get a zip tie to zip tie this cord up here. 
But uh, yeah, other than that, let's take a quick little look at the speed. Um, it's not like super fast compared to the other one, but it is a considerably a lot faster. And it does center itself. So yeah. And that completes this upgrade.